we are halfway through the what do you call it? Gunga pizza and ice? Not halfway through our time. This is what happened when I had a novice chef. Them things say you put the dough and they mixed up and you're halfway through. Right? No, but we're halfway through. It's it's we just added the rice the into the water. The water don't boil pizza. into the curry mutton yet. The potato don't add it yet. <laughs> the taste testing no do. <laughs> The gungo piece just put in with the rice. Rice not, that not even boil yet. Right? It's going to boil and then it's going to be ready. Okay. We're halfway through. It's good to be optimistic. I'm the realist around here because I actually cook. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Man's a savage. <laughs> How many times do I look on the pot? You stir it to make sure it doesn't burn. Just, just, Why a, you just a tip. Why are you just giving me attitude? Why are you giving me attitude, sir? I'm just giving you a tip. If it, when the food come up, burn up. This is why. <laughs> you, 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 you leave it on the stove and you say, well, it should be ready in 30 minutes. I don't have to check it until 30 minutes. Oh my God. That's not how it goes. What a piece of styling. Just cook one curry mutton. Guys. Do you believe, Sam, where you have to keep staring this curry mutton now to get burn up? Or are you about this 15 minutes and done? It doesn't thing? have to burn up, you know. It's just that the bottom is going to be well done and the top is going to be medium rare. <laughs> medium rare only applies to beef. <laughs> and I don't have medium rare button. And the... It's a, it's Get a, it, out of my video. It, it, so guys, it, it, we are cooking gongo peas and rice. It, it, it looks good. Sam, Sam is cooking gongo peas and rice. And she says it looks commentator is on Listen, the side. Listen, right? it looks great. Every match needs a commentator. Let me show you. Let me show you guys because you're not seeing this. Look at this rice. It looks like rice. Thank you. Um, <laughs> Thank you. It's, it's not pleasure. pudding. Look at the mutton. And oh please my god. Don't take it up again because it needs to cook properly. It needs to simmer down and it needs to cook. What needs to The rice needs to, the rice needs to soften. <laughs> so the rice needs to cook now. So you can leave the pot on it and make it go and cook. So excited. My mom is gonna be so happy. <laughs> just add it until, until it, it makes ready. sauce again. Alright, so just spend two. <gasps> Why you add so much? Why you add it so much? It's not soup you're making. Let it boil down. And when it boils down, it'll turn it up so it can go and boil. They said put it on medium heat. It is medium. This is high. This is low. And this is in the middle. <laughs> you come stir the pot. Episode you want to boil out the whole of the flavor? No, the flavor is meant to be in the gravy. Is it the gravy? What else? So, this is where curry gravy comes from? Mm, not necessarily, but this and is the start. This is the foundation. You have to add some more stuff to it. Like what? Mm, okay. I can't feel it off my, off the top of my head. This is my third time making curry. <laughs> I'm a chef in the making. Yes. If it's necessary. Is it necessary to add more water? If the top is still hard and not necessarily soft, we need to just taste it. So if it take a fork and just taste the top. Then take a fork and taste the top. Then. It's not. It's not supposed to be ready by this point. It's supposed to need. It's supposed to be at least ten more minutes before it actually looks like it's ready. Okay. I'm sure it's still water at the bottom, unless this stove is wrong. If I did, if this tasted bad, I didn't make it. <laughs> Top is ready. Then what happened to the bottom? Hmm? I'm just stuck. 
That's how you test it? Mm -hmm. See, that puts the moisture at the bottom. Then why it's can't you just ready. mix it? No, because it's solidified. Well, you're the one that added well, more water than meat. That's just what I'm over here. So, how long does it take? Oh, maybe. Can't we like okay. take out some water out of it? Yes. yes? Oh, no, no, no. Let's to open it. Let's stay open so I can go. Let's wait, man. I'm just saying. Tap, 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 tap. Any last, last words? Last words? Any last comments? Oh, comments are last words. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> <laughs> um, I think I don't know, it's a bit too much um, seasoning because they're going to have to have pictures and reviews between the meat that they're having. But yeah, in all essence, I mean, it will add more flavor to it. They just need to take out the onions and put them to the side when, when it's in their plate. For a third attempt of curry goat, um, I don't think it's a bad idea. I want to taste it to make sure that uh, my, my, my calculation is correct. And um, I think it went well. I think it went quite well. Um, I'm going to taste it just to confirm that that is the case. Right? Hi. But in all due respect, we're good. And the rice was good as well. Rice is very good. Rice is very good. Rice is flawless. Roti. Mm -hmm. Rotten roll bam bam. So how, <laughs> <laughs> so how is it? Some curry. The curry? Why? Look like the gravy <laughs> fused with the meat, but it tastes really good, like it's flavorful. It's not on the gravy, <laughs> but the meat is. The good. meat tastes amazing. Meat I'm not sure if I So I know whenever the mother come back, you add her gravy, she can just throw some water and her spices and thing and make yeah. some gravy outside. But for now, it is, it is good. good. Yeah. All is well. This is his second, by the way. I mean, we have gungo rice and the gungo rice and pizza is good still. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. We're not, add, we're not about really, Yeah, we're about the roti. Yeah, the roti and curry. It was really for the roti and curry. Yeah. Alright, this one also, don't even look for me in the top. <laughs> All the YouTubers out there, oh man, I take out all the meat and I'm not left, I'm not left no meat for nobody. I'm the chef here. Get it right. <laughs> and what the moment of truth. But we didn't get it. This is when we get it now. Do you have to eat it like that? <laughs> Oh my god. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's really good. Mm. So you give it a how much out of 10? My chicken. Solid 8. So why 8 and not 10? Mm. Because the gravy was a little oh. bit lacking. You know how many uh, times you put water in there, I'm surprised it didn't yeah. have gravy at the and end. I'm sorry that, yeah. Yours <laughs> are a little bit lacking and it could be a little bit more flavorful. It is flavorful as it, oh, yeah, as it is. <laughs> what just happened? As it is, but it could be a little bit better. A, a tad bit, you know? Alright. So, always so, room for improvement. But, so, curry mutton 2.0? Oh, yeah. I mean, because if somebody else tasted this, they will say, yeah, man, Sam is a chef. I really liked it. Sam is a chef from, you know. From, I really liked it. Know. But I am the chef, so I have to like give myself an honest review. Sorry. And I uh, have to make sure that you know. Let's say me see me. Is that like this? Is this plus two to make it ten? You know what I'm saying? 
Yeah, all right, awesome. So you want to close out the video? I charge hundred thousand dollars an hour. <laughs> Good food. If you need me to cook it, cook it in Michigan, just to buy the meat. <laughs> it's hundred thousand dollars for the labor, you know, not for not for not for the supplies. So when they have the meat ready, the supplies, I come, then I cook it. And you get the comedy, you get the energy, you get the jokes, the music, the fun, the vibes, everything. Hundred dollars an hour. Hundred thousand dollars an hour. Ask me to close out the video and you're there trying to promote yourself. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's been an epic night. It's been, I think it's like three or four hours later. <laughs> finally finished. I told her it would take two to three hours to do it. Because Cora might take some time to, you know, to cook. And so she didn't believe me, but here we are, four hours later. I'm happy we did it. I'm happy we completed it. I hope it tastes good. I'm happy she said it tastes good. Because it's hard to, you know, she's a very picky person. We did it. Next time, try something better. But I'm happy you guys know how to make your own curry man. So, we're going to close out this video right now. It's been great, guys. I thank you for staying with us. Thank you for watching us this far out. Please remember to like, share, subscribe to this YouTube channel. And I'll see you guys, or she will see you guys. <laughs> for the next one. Have a nice night now. Oat is good and the rice and peas perfect. Mmm, very good. Mmm, mmm. Mmm, excellent. Very nice. Mmm.